this is Brian from Greenbug and this is a continuation of the last video. I'm going to talk about the upper spindle, the upper bearing, the gearbox and the generator on a screw generator. We'll start with the uh, spindle. The spindle is what takes the load of the screw and transfers it into the upper bearing. It's also the shaft that the screw rotates on. So there's a spindle on both ends of the screw that's connected to the main shaft. The spindle, this is a welded spindle. There are different options. You can have a complete welded spindle, like this is gussets, a shaft, and a plate. Or this could be a forged where it's all one flange connected to the shaft. Um, the design type is basically regulated by the size of the screw. On small screws, we do this design. On large screws, like if this was a 200 kilowatt screw, this would have a forged flange on it rather than a welded spindle. Or sorry, welded spindle instead of a welded uh, <coughs> forged flange. Um, in front of the flange is the upper bearing assembly. Since this is a very small screw, we don't have a custom upper bearing assembly for it. We've just got a Dodge TAF bearing. This bearing accepts static and dynamic misalignment as well as it accepts thrust load. So you can see that right now it looks like this pillow block is exactly perpendicular to this screw shaft but in fact it could be off to a very small amount and because of this design this housing can be tilted a little wee bit or the screw shaft can flex a little wee bit and this bearing assembly will accept that deflection both statically and dynamically when it's rotating and on top here we've got an automatic lubricator and the automatic lubricator dispenses a certain amount of grease based on the size of the bearing so that you can make sure you always maintain lubrication in your bearings. Uh, for this little unit here we set it to 12 months so that every month it'll put a shot of grease into this or I'm not exactly sure the dispersal rate but this entire cartridge will last 12 months going into here and then you just simply unscrew this and replace it when it's spent. So how long do the bearings last? The bearings are sized for a 40 year life so if you maintain lubrication this bearing will last 40 years Chances of the seals lasting that long are not so great, but you can replace the seals and you can get a new cartridge to do that. Um, I would expect the seals to last 10 or 15 years before they need replacing. The seals just hold grease in and keep contaminants out. So if you notice that you've got a lot of grease coming out of here, probably your seals are gone. Can you see the seals there? No, you can't see the seals. They're inside the flange here. Okay. Um, in front of the upper bearing, you can see this black device here. And this is a retaining collar. And this retaining collar puts the complete thrust load of this screw into this flange, not this cast piece that you see here, but the actual forged inner piece of the upper bearing. So this keeps the screw from falling out. And the way that it works is this piece here slides off and there's two half collars that go around the shaft into a groove that's in this shaft. So the collars go in and then that, that thing slips on top of them, what you're seeing right here. And I can just spin it with my fingers because really all that keeps this from falling off is it's hitting the gearbox. Okay. The gearbox is what takes the slow speed of the screw. In this case, this screw turns at 40 RPM and it turns it up to the speed that's required by the generator. In most cases, you use an induction generator, but since this is an off-grid system, we've got a three-phase permanent magnet generator. And the target speed on this generator for the this 2.2 kVA generator is about 1100 RPM. So we've got a gearbox that's sized to take the 40 RPM at full water load to translate it to the 1100 RPM that the generator requires. This gearbox is a three-stage helical. So there's one main gear at the bottom, another stage, and then the third stage. That's why it's called a three-stage. It's got an air breather at the top. It's filled with food grade oil. And there's a, uh, this here is actually the fill plug. Oh, sorry, it's on the other side. There's a fill plug over here. So when you're changing the oil, you always got to make sure it's filled up to this position and there's a drain plug on the bottom. In between the generator and the gearbox is a coupler. This is the same in almost all such circumstances, regardless of the size. So there's a there's a uh, coupler in between here, a rubber grommet, and that rubber grommet may need to be changed after 10 or 15 years. So if you follow your instruction manual, you'll find that you need to check that grommet every so often to make sure that it's still okay. Because if that rubber that rubber's, uh, grommet in there dissipates 
eventually you'll have steel on steel contact and that won't be good. You'll have little shock loads going into things and metal parts don't last when you've got metal to metal contact. So it's good to main, make sure that coupler is okay in there. And then the generator, this is a permanent magnet generator, three phase. It's a 2.2 kVA. We're using it to produce 1.5 kilowatts, three phase AC. Uh, there's no brake at all on this system. Um, the braking is handled by, we're using an AC clipper. And so the, the braking is actually done electrically rather than with a uh, physical brake. And uh, we can talk about that when we talk about the electrical controls later on. Okay, great, thanks.